Well, this week's project then. Um, so I've made a pen that's going to be a birthday gift and I wanted to make uh, a box to place it in but because my area is bandsaw boxes sorry about the noise it's blowing a gale outside because my area is bandsaw boxes I actually wanted to make a bandsaw box to put this pen in I'm not the first one that's done this um, this design here was used by somebody online um, who just found the, the free image and designed well he actually just cut out that box and used it for his pen which is absolutely lovely but I just wanted to take that one step further and do a little bit of added design on it or at least attempt it and um, we'll have to see how it works out so I actually wanted to make the box in the slight shape of a pen so the idea is that this piece here which would be the pen tip let's put that that way the the pen tip i'll turn this on the lathe i'm just going to do it between centers and take it down to there and then i'll probably cut it off and round the end by hand um but to get the symmetrical shape and being round i'll use the lathe for that and on this end I'm just going to make a, a bit of a stubby end like that there on the end and then I'll take it down to its, its shape I'll turn it down as much as I can and then I'll cut that by bandsaw and we'll see how we go from there we're just going to be working this as we go along um, but basically I'm going to use the lathe and get these two ends down to the shape that I want and then we'll move on to working out how we're going to cut the box and make the box up. Oh. Well, the time lapse didn't record, so uh, so anyway, one of these things that happens. That's the all I basically did is just went in. You can see where the pattern is there. Went in, took this down to about oh, there's about maybe just under just over a quarter of an inch there and about half an inch there um, and just made a pattern at this end here and tilted that down I'll actually cut these off on the bandsaw now um, because obviously I'm just doing between centers so um, I'll take that bit off and take that bit off and then we'll come back and discuss where we're going to go next with this That's the um, that's it cut from the bandsaw now. You see this wee marks not there. I'm not bothered about that. I'm going to sand this all. There's no point me sanding and finishing these bits on the lathe because you don't get the same finish when you're doing it all by hand. So all I've basically done is is cut the shape. So uh, so that's the the one end and that's the other end. So now. Is we what we need to do is oh, hold on let's get this camera angle right um, now we need to cut the box so what I'm going to do with this next is would normally on a bandsaw box you would before you start you would cut the back off it but I'm not going to be doing that I am I'm going to cut this shape here on the bandsaw and then I think I'm going to be doing a bit of hand shaping ready getting some shaping on this corners here because I'm going to have to try and sand these back I'll use the Dremel just to get some nice curving shapes I want I want the pencil shape to be in there but I want these edges to be soft as well so the first thing I'm going to do on the bandsaw is I'm going to go away and cut this bit out
Okay, now that's that bit done. So we've got the, that's a basic shape from the bottom now. Now the way I'm going to cut this is, um, I'm going to go slightly up through here. Let me get a pencil. Like I say, we are going to be going right through the back here, which is not the normal way you would do with a bandsaw box. You'd normally cut the back off because obviously I'm just going to have a hole all the way through there but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that when it comes to it but um, what I'm going to do now anyway is I'm going to come up here and then cut into this box and then follow that round because I quite like that shape and it's it's a good size for the pen um, we will when it comes to doing the the insert we will work out um, a way of maybe holding the pen in place in the box as well so next we're just going to cut all the way around here much talking when uh, that's going because there's an awful lot of dust off this wood so I've had my mask on. Uh, right that's the inside of the, the box there and obviously this will be the drawer. Um, this bit will glue up into place there. We'll use clamps and get that uh, seated in place. Not too bothered about the, the bit being there. I actually quite like the look. Um, like that and we are now going to have to put some sort of back onto here so uh, that will actually hold the join at the same time right, so the reason that I've done it this way is um, I'm going to get a better camera angle to show you this bit hold on This piece of wood here was the wood that I used for the pen. 
um, I actually stabilized this piece of wood in a resin to um, make it more solid because this can be a little bit soft um, being burr and it's quite old and it's, you know, it's got some beautiful markings in it and that was the reason that I made the pen blanks for it um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to incorporate some of this wood into this box I think they call this is it magenta or magenta or you know I'm not quite sure it's what they call this wood I will actually find out for, for sure so the idea was to anyway to try and incorporate some of this wood and before I had this design I did think about doing um, laminating some wood together and putting a couple of strips of this through it but now that I've got this pen design and obviously I need to think a little bit more out the box so what I plan on doing is having a piece of this on the front of the box and also on the back of the box to cover this back so that um, a bit either side of this wood I'm hoping it'll look better than what I'm describing it to be honest so what I need to actually go away and do now is to cut some slices probably two slices off the back of here and then I need to sand them and smooth them one will be shaped slightly larger than this uh, just to go over the back here and that will leave a, a, a good bit of figure on that piece of wood there and then I need to have a bit exact size of the drawer here because it will be covering the front um, so that's really what I need to do now because I wanted to incorporate a bit of this wood into that so the next thing I need to do is actually prepare these two bits for here before I do any more gluing or anything like that so um, I should probably do this in a little bit of a a speeded up video so that's the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do now Okay, that's the um, that's the bit at the back done. And obviously, we've got the drawer there, which is the other way. And then this will be the drawer front. So they will roughly come out around about the same, jarring out at the edge. The plan is is to actually sand it all down flush. Not so much really at the front, but definitely at the back. Um, sand it down a bit flush against that. That's the idea anyway. Um, I'll go and give these a, a sanding and get them ready and maybe curve the edges a wee bit. Ready for gluing on, on the back there second okay that's the <clears throat> the back piece and that done I've just um, just sanded them flat each side and they're ready to glue but I'm not going to um, glue these bits to snout uh, the next thing I'm going to do is get the drawer ready uh, first of all with the drawer I need to cut off the back 
I don't need to cut off the front on this drawer because I have um, a front for it. Um, so I just need to cut the back off and then actually cut into the drawer. That should leave us the shell ready for that. Okay, so I'll go away. I'll do a time lapse for this. Um, I'll go away and get that bits cut um, so that I can get the draw stick in. That's the, the drawer now being glued. This is the outside of the pencil box. I've done some sanding on there now just to let me see, make sure I get in the camera. Just to so that's the actual design now. Now this is the front I think here. Um, I've also sanded this bit to make it nice round edges and this will go onto the back something like that so that will be how you'll see it from the top and then it, the drawer will stick out a bit as well so okay so I'm going to go ahead now and I'll glue this back bit on and then we'll see where we are from there. Okay. I just wanted to go to the insert. As I said, when I took the when I took the drawer out, I I ended up with these I ended up with this was the piece that I took out from inside the drawer so and I wanted to use this as it's a gift I want the box to be usable as a bandsaw box but I wanted to I wanted to be able to present the pen inside that box but so that the insert that I'm using to hold the pen can be removed. That's really the idea. So that, that could be discarded or kept or whatever people want. But And the drawer can be used for little bits of jewellery. So, so this was the bit I cut out. And then all I did was cut out three shapes just like that with the thought of... Oh, here we go. The pen will be sitting into that. So I cut those bits out and on the top here I need to bevel out the shape for the pen just to sit in. 
um, I can do that with the, the Dremel. I can just use the sanded disc. I'll roughly mark. Uh, where's the pencil now? Right, so this is the the insert now it's cut and then I'll just roughly mark either side of there so that the pen sits in and the same down here. Now when I take that off, if I sand those bits down the pen should sit in um, and that should hold it in place. I want this insert which would sit inside the box now with the pen in it. But with these, when I usually make pens, whether it's to be to sell or gifts, I always give extra ink cartridges with it because there's nothing worse than having a pen, the ink runs out and you don't even know where to go to get the cartridges. So there will be, I'll put probably two or three cartridges in with this one. Um, but I want those hidden in the box. So the idea will be that underneath the box, I'll make a channel down here just with a Dremel it'll be quite rough it'll, it'll just be beveled out so that when this is inside the box those can sit underneath it and the pen will sit on the top so that they're not you can't see any of those so anyway I'm just gonna get the Dremel now and get these bits out and this bit and that that will be ready hopefully the box will be dry by then because this will be slightly too big I think for the box so I'll have to sand one of the edges down a little bit but anyway I'll go away and get that bits done and then I'll come back and maybe it'll you know, be a bit more understandable once you see it okay. very dusty in here this wood it's just like powder look at the state of the place but anyway this is the drawer this is now the insert here you see that? for the pen to go in and it actually does go inside the box, clears it fine. Um, I was actually going to put um, flocking on that but I've decided not to because the wood is actually beautiful. It looks really very nice. So, of course in my opinion. Um, so I'm actually just going to leave it just like that now in the bottom of the box I was going to put a channel down the centre but in the end I put there's the two ink cartridges in there I put slants down each side because it, it ended up being so deep channels ended up being so deep to make sure that the pen fitted into the box that um, I was a bit worried if I tried to channel down the centre I would have ended up breaking through and I really didn't want that to happen I wanted that piece of wood to be kept like that so the sides came down flat so I just took the corner off both and with a bit of fiddling you have to make sure it's on a nice even not a nice even surface which is actually here just put this in so, yeah if it's on a nice even surface they go into that corner and you can hear them in there but they'll be stuck in that corner <coughs> and the pen sits in there lovely I just slightly rounded over those because I quite the wood's beautiful I mean it, I don't know how much you can see on the video but it's actually got bits of green and everything in it and it's really really nice wood and, and that was one of the reasons that I wanted to make the pen from it I'm not even sure what wood it is in all honesty I just know where I got the piece of wood and it actually came from somebody's garden and they kept it underneath their house for 10 years and then I was woodworking and I worked with them and they said to me oh I've got a chunk of wood that you can have and this piece of wood once I cut open this piece of wood to make it into blocks 
this was all inside it. It was just just lovely to find. So uh, so yeah, so you just use it sparingly. I've had it for quite a few years and, and I use it for special projects. So that's the drawer complete with the pen now. The I'm just gluing the back on this piece here. It won't be too much longer now and I'll be able to take that off and then just do the fine sanding and, and get that bit finished. I mean we are virtually finished now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand seal this bit. I'm not going to do any of that on camera. I use cellulose sanding sealer, 50% cellulose sanding sealer and 50% cellulose lacquer. I buy in big containers. It's chestnut product I use. I just mix it into uh, a jar like that and on the lathe I apply it with a cloth and and for everything else I apply it with a brush. So I'm going to coat all the, and obviously take the pen out because the pen's been finished, I'm going to have to give that a hand polish because it's sitting in here with all this. But I'll give all of this parts now a sand seal and then um, I use a 600 grit sandpaper just to go over it after because the sand sealer the idea of it is it raises the grain and it seals the wood um, so it, it will need a little rub over after but, you know that's fine uh, so yeah I hope you like it so far well, I'm very pleased with it myself I'm hoping the person I made it for will really quite like it so I'll go away and sand seal and the other part of the box then will dry and we'll come back all right, keep watching. Okay, that's it all glued together, the box. I just give it a, its first coating of sand sealer. That's the back compartment on there, and then that's the, the complete bit. the inside of the, the box there with just that bit in so pretty straightforward it, <coughs> I'd imagine it looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is to do I mean you, you didn't have to do the bit for the pen um, but obviously as I'm using it as a as a gift box I wanted the pen packed securely because actually the main gift is the pen so um, but there you go I, I wouldn't do these as a regular thing I might do them just that shape which was the original shape that the bloke that I seen did um, and sell them separately for um, people with pen collections um, with maybe some sort of inserts like that I could have done that on a routy you know took those bits out but it's quite nice doing it by hand well by Dremel so that's the box um, completed I shall go away and varnish it now and do the final sanding on it and then I shall post some pictures up at the end of it so I hope you enjoyed this and I'm not actually sure at the minute how long this um, video is but there was a few bits that I needed to explain a little bit more for you just um, because of doing the insert and stuff. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. That's the pen pot um, complete and you know why not have a go yourself you know there's lots of stuff out there it makes it easy having little templates and that you could go out and find this template or use any other bandsaw box and just do the same type of thing hope you enjoyed uh, if you'd like to see more of this type of thing and um, subscribe uh, if you've got anything you want to ask me just pop it in the comments below and if you liked it give me a thumbs up uh, thanks very much for watching